lecture, let us discuss about A star algorithm, which is a powerful graph traversal and pathfinding algorithm in artificial intelligence. So this is mainly used in order to find the shortest path between two nodes in a graph. And uh, the main advantage of this is its ability to provide an optimal path by exploring graph in a more informed way. So it can be used more effectively when compared to other uh, algorithms like uh, Dijkstra's or uh, uh, greedy best first search algorithm because it combines the advantages of those two algorithms. So like uh, Dijkstra's algorithm A star ensures that the path found is as short as possible but does so more eff efficiently by directing its search through a heuristic uh, which is similar to greedy best first search. So here we'll use a heuristic function which is denoted with h of n that mainly estimates the cost of getting from any given node n to the destination node. So then where we are using this A star algorithm. So a lot of games and web-based maps, they use this algorithm for finding the shortest path efficiently. So coming to the working procedure, uh, it maintains a tree of paths originating at the start node. And it will extend uh, extends those paths one edge at a time. So this process is repeated until termination is termination condition is satisfied. So here, uh, this here will use this function that is f of n equal to g of n plus h of n, where n is nothing but the last node on the path, and g of n represents the cost of the path from start node to node n and here we have heuristic function which is represented with h of n represented with h of n which estimates the cost of the cheapest path from node n to the goal nodes let us take this example here the numbers which are written on the edges so they represent the distance between the nodes between nodes a and b whereas the numbers which are uh, written on nodes so this is a number which is written on node. It represents the heuristic value. So our task is we need to find the cost effective path to reach from start state. Start state is A. So from here we need to reach the final state. And the final state is J. So we'll solve this uh, example with the help of uh, A star algorithm. So here our step one is first we need to start with a start node so what is our start node a so find out the adjacent nodes of a adjacent nodes of a are b and f so you can reach this b and f from node a right so here node b and f are adjacent nodes of a and so they can be reached from a here the algorithm calculates f of b and f of f values so what is the function we use here? f of n equal to g of n plus h of n. So here f of b, we can find it, uh, we can get the f of b value like this. So from start node, adjacent node is b. So here g of n is 6 and h of n is nothing but heuristic value on b. So heuristic value on b is 8. So you will get 6 plus 8. So total is 14. And now what is the other adjacent node that is f. So find out the value f of n equal to g of n is 3 and h of n is heuristic value on node f that is 3 plus 6 which is 9. Now find out which one is having the shortest path, sh shortest cost. So f of uh, capital F is having the small lap weight. So cost of f of f is small. So here since f of f is less than f of b. Now the next path. The, so here the path selected is a to f. So the algorithm decides to go to node f from node a. So now let us remove this path. So this is the path which is selected. Then from F, find out the adjacent nodes. Adjacent nodes are G and H. So here in step 2, 
you can reach algorithm reach node g and node h from node f and here again we need to calculate f of g and f of h values so here in order to reach this node so you need to take from start node so 3 plus 1 that gives you g of n so you can write it as 3 plus 1 and h value is heuristic value uh, on node g that is 5 so it gives you 9 then what is the other edges in node h so find out value f of h equal to 3 plus so you need to take the path from start node so that is 3 plus 7 that is g of n and heuristic value on node h is 3 so it gives you 13 among these two, which is the node which is having shortest, uh, shortest. Uh, now we need to take the one which is having small cost. So we need to select this node G. So the path which is obtained here. So first see this, you will get 3 plus 1 plus 5 which is 9 and here it is 13. So, as f of g is less than f of h, the path which is selected here is a to f to g. So, let us draw that path. Just erase this path. This is not required. So, we are selecting algorithm selects this path a to f to g as that is the shortest path. Now, here step 3 is find out the adjacent node of g. So, G is having only one non-visited node that is I. So, node I can be reached from node G and calculate F of I. So, what is F of I? Calculate from start node. So, now G value is 3 plus 1 plus 3. So, you will get 3 plus 1 plus 3. And heuristic value on node i is 1. So, what is the total cost? 3 plus 1 plus 3. 7 plus 1 is 8. So, as there is only one path, it will select this path. So, the path which is obtained is, the path which we got here is A, F, G, I. Now, I is having two adjacent nodes. So, we need to select one path, right? So, find out this path first. In step 4, we will cal we'll calculate. So, I is having three adjacent nodes. So, we need to take all the three paths. So, calculate this. For uh, First, we will calculate for E. So, for E, it is 3 plus 1 plus 3 plus 1 plus 3 and 5. So, this is G of N. Heuristic value on E is 3. So, it gives you 15. Now, calculate F of H f of h is 3 plus 3 plus 1 plus 3 plus 2. So, this is g of n and heuristic value on node h is 3. So, it gives you 12 and what is the leftover node? So, I nodes are E, H and J. So, let us take J, find out G of N for J. 
that is 3 plus 1 plus 3 plus 3. 3 plus 1 plus 3 plus 3. So that is G of N. And heuristic value on this node J. So J is not having any heuristic value. So let us take it as 0. So that is your goal node, right? So its value is 10. Now, since this step of J is least, this algorithm decides to go to node J. So among these three, it will select this node. So what is the path? So let me erase the path completely. Now the path is A to F, F to G, G to I, I to J. So this is the required shortest path from node A to node J. So here you can see all the steps. So in step 3 we reached from node A to node I. Whereas in step 4, the path is A to F to G, G to I and I to J. Sayster algorithm is one of the best path finding algorithms. The problem is it does not produce the shortest path always because it, it heavily depends on, depends on heuristics.